This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Brad Tessero is here. He is the mayor of Pico Rivera. Congratulations, Mayor. Pico Rivera continues to be named as one of the most business-friendly cities in the county. The LA Economic Development Corporation recently nominated uh, Pico Rivera for an Eddie Award. Top five in small cities. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to be here for a third mm -hmm. year in a row. Mm -hmm. We think as a city we're doing everything we can to make sure that our city is business friendly, is improving economically, is improving our infrastructure and making it overall a great place to live. And when I think about Pico Rivera, you're surrounded by a lot of cities. Yes, it, we are. You, know, you got Whittier around, which is, you know, a, a very attractive city. Sure. How do you differentiate? That's a really good question. I think uh, a lot of what we do centers around our customer service at City Hall. Mm. We have a, a really great dynamic at City Hall where whether you're a resident or whether you're a business coming in for an application, you come in and you're greeted with a, a friendly smile right. and you're you're treated like you know like, right. the like customer, your family or like, like family, family right and, and like the customer that mm. you deserve to be treated mm -hmm. you're you're there to to get something done and our city hall makes sure it gets done what's challenging for so many cities in california now is that there had been a tool that cities could use to try to revitalize uh, communities to try to catalyze business activity, and that was redevelopment. Sure. You know redevelopment has been gone for a few years, sure. and the legislature has tried to bring some version of it back. Governor Brown has nothing to say about that. Right. And so what are you doing to continue to try to incentivize businesses to come to Pico Rivera, stay in Pico Rivera, grow in Pico Rivera? Yeah, well, there is a number of things that our city is doing. Obviously, with the loss of economic development, that right. was a hit for right. Pico Rivera as, as well as hundreds of cities across right. the state. But we've been very aggressive in applying for local, state, and federal grants. Mm. Because of that, we've been able to make major infrastructure improvements. Did you open a library recently? Yes, we right, did. I remember uh, that. Brand new library, mm -hmm. state-of-the-art facility, brand new technology mm -hmm. center, as well as a gold lead certified building, which is one of the highest rated government right. buildings. And that was done with the county, is that right? Yes, it was, in right. partnership how with... How do I remember this? I don't know it's how I'm pretty remembering amazing. this. I know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's exactly. like you're looking at my notes. Yeah, I don't know how I know this, but somehow it's in the back of my brain. But continue, sir. But I, I in do. partnership with uh, Supervisor Gloria Molina, right. we were able to open up a brand new library. And in addition to that, we opened, uh, we renovated and opened up three parks uh, that yes. uh, were completely redone. Not only are they beautiful parks, but they're amazing sports facilities for our youth sports organizations. Right. Were you park poor before? I mean, was it one of those cities that no. needed more park space? Or well, we do. We do need park space. I wouldn't characterize right. Pico Rivera as park okay. poor, but uh, we did do some great enhancements right. and, and great renovations. So, parks. where do you go from here? You're on a roll. Yes. What's next? Yeah. Well, as far as our businesses are concerned, mm -hmm. we, we continue to grow and expand. We've had a number of businesses move into our city. Mm. Uh, some businesses, uh, they move into existing buildings and z right. existing structures like Jersey Mike's. They mm -hmm. they moved in not, not too long ago. We have some new businesses that are coming in, the Habit Hamburger mm. uh, as well. I, I found out earlier today, mm. I'm, I'm very excited right. for this. The Jamba Juice is moving in. Couldn't be happier. Uh, I, are you I fully built, built out? Uh, so we are pretty built out. However, what we've seen is a trend of businesses coming in, buying pieces of property oh. and building brand new buildings on those pieces of property. And a great example of that is Norms. Right. Norms came in, they bought a corner spot on the corner of Beverly and Rosemead. Sure, I know they where that is. completely right. rebuilt the lot. They built up a brand new infrastructure. In addition to that, they built their own restaurant and they built a little side building so uh, a little vendor can come in, a little grocery store. They've done amazing by our community. His name is Brent Tessero. He is the mayor of Pico Rivera. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.